Hi, it's Chris and I'm pretty excited about the project I worked on this week. In the past I've built, um, I've hacked the uh, Ryobi supercharger to make it into a 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. I've hacked the uh, 40 volt uh, pure sine wave inverter to run off 18 volt batteries. A lot of people sent me messages saying that, you know, the 300 watts is nice but they'd really like to be able to run some really large devices like microwaves, vacuums, saws, refrigerators, things like that. One of my subscribers pointed out that DeWalt makes an 1800 watt modified sine wave inverter that uses four uh, 20 volt batteries. It's pretty expensive, it's $451 and uh, with only four batteries the uh, runtime isn't all that great. Let's take a look at my Ryobi 2600 power station project. I'm using eight Ryobi four amp hour batteries, they're one plus batteries. I'm using a 3000 watt inverter, but we can only get 2600 watts out of it because of the batteries. It has a indicator here, it shows the voltage of the batteries and they're in a, uh, a, a 2S 4P configuration. It shows you the AC voltage. It has two outlets. If you want to add more outlets in a USB charger, you can put an adapter in here. So you got two type A's and one type C. And then it has a master on and off because there is a small parasitic load. And that's because it comes with a uh, little remote control here. So you can shut it off or turn it on remotely. So if it's not right next to you, you can take care of that. It has a nice built-in handle to carry it. And the whole package with these batteries weighs 33 pounds. I'll show you how I put it together and then we can look at some of the results. For this project, I'm going to use some leftover PVC wood I had. Its uh, actual dimensions are about nine and a quarter and three quarters inch thick. This is the prototype for the Ryobi inverter uh, and battery caddy. We've got to slide the inverter into the caddy. We've got to screw down the inverter so it doesn't slip out. I've 3D printed eight of these clips that I designed for a previous project. They clip into the battery lock so they don't pull off and it uses the standard Ryobi replacement terminals. For this project I'm using 10 gauge silicon wire. This is really great wire. It's stranded and it's copper and, and then it's tinned. So really high quality wire. Just using a wire stripper to strip it here. I get some insulated crimp on connectors from, radio, from um, Ace Hardware. Okay. That's how I'm making up the wires. I'm going to put the plus wires through a switch here because it turns out the inverter has a very small parasitic load and I don't want the batteries to drain over time. 
course, our project needs some signage. To load the batteries in, you just place them in four on a side. Then you just take the wires and they just clip, the batteries just clip on. And now we're set to go. I'm using eight four amp hour batteries I wouldn't go any lower than that. You can go all the way up to nine amp hour batteries. Microwave test. The refrigerator's working. Shadow's checking it out. Here's the heat gun test. I wanted to see how long the power would last. So I have a 1500 watt radiator here. I've got a timer and I've got a watt meter here. And so I'm gonna turn on the... So it's almost 1500 watts and I'm gonna start the timer and we'll see how long the batteries last. Now these are 4 amp hour batteries, I've had some of them for quite a few years, so they may not be as good as brand new batteries, but it will give us an idea. Both my P108 and my P197 4 amp hour batteries say they have 72 watt hours each. My P194 9 amp hour battery says it has 162 watt hours. Just after three and a half minutes, the uh, fan on the Inverter has gone on. Okay, when the voltage hit 33 volts, the uh, low voltage alarm started to sound. Okay, system is shut down. For future modifications, I'm looking at a couple different things, trying to find ways that I can mount the batteries that um, hide the wires so they're not so visible. So I have two different ideas there. I'm also working on a design that uses four 40 volt batteries that would snap in. I'd like to figure out how to charge all eight batteries at once. And I did make my clips have a location for a connector to the temperature sensor, but I still have to work out the electronics to do the charging safely. I really enjoy doing these projects, but one of my ultimate goals is to get Ryobi to come out with some new products that meet our needs better. Ryobi usually comes out with new products around Christmas time, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Well, if you like this project, please hit like and subscribe. Have a great day.